my name is uh, Dave Swallow. I'm from here in Porcupine, you know, Porcupine, South Dakota. I was born and raised here, you know, right here. And uh, Lakota name, the Lakota name that I have is called Wawita Yuhamani, which translates into uh, walks with pride, you know. And uh, I spoke my Lakota language. Uh, I grew up with that. You know, I grew up with that language. So, white man language, English language is a secondary language to me. You grew up with your mm -hmm. grandmother? Yeah. So, I grew up that way, you know, and uh, 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 I've been introduced into this, uh, I don't know, I was raised with them, you know, you're Lakota, you're born with everything, you know. It's not uh, uh, who makes you or who who put you in that position. But if you're a Lakota, you, you automatically, you're there. You are there. You are it right there. And just like the white man, if I walk up to the white man and ask him, when did you learn how to speak English? Mm -hmm. Are you born with that or what? You know? Same thing with any indigenous people, you know. Uh, we're born with it. But the new generation is that uh, uh, <coughs> they have too much book knowledge. See? Mm -hmm. And the books are written by another man. They wrote by another man, author, they call it. You know? mm -hmm. So he, he, he shared his knowledge and uh, you read and you learn from there. So which means you don't exercise your powers or your mind to learn by yourself. <laughs> See? Watch out. Yeah, I'm a Lakota. And I was raised this way, and I grew up here on a Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. And uh, if you need to have me uh, talk about, uh, we're not even supposed to mention his name, you know. But today, everybody mentioned his name, so he, it become common through the English language. See? His name. Crazy horse. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it become common. Everybody wants to be like him, or everybody has a piece of him, or everybody wants to own a piece of crazy horse, or, you know, like that, you know. Everybody. But he knew back then this was going to happen. That's why nobody knew where he was buried, <laughs> you know. Oh. He knew. When, when he was... Uh, Incident happened at uh, Fort Robinson, Nebraska, and before he died, he told them. He told them that hide his body because this is, they're going to be looking for me, and he knew all this. See? But see, Crazy Horse, Khashunkovich was a great warrior and also a holy man, and also a, a really humble person, as my grandfather said. <laughs> see? So, <coughs> so, you know, uh, back in the old Lakota days, I guess you're not even supposed to mention his name unless you need his help. Because when you mention him, he comes? Mm -hmm. So, you know, but today there's so many books wrote about him and there's so many lies about him, you know, there's so many. And uh, they found human remains and they said that's him and, you know, all this, but uh, it's not. It's not him, you know. And nobody knows where he's buried. But wherever he's buried, I'm pretty sure it was on Mother Earth, yeah. you know. It's on Mother Earth, took her back, you know. And wherever his spirit is at, I'm pretty sure and positive that... <laughs> Wherever he's at, it's got to be a good place. <laughs> See? Mm. That I hope one day I'll be over there too. <laughs> you know? And can you communicate with him? No, nobody cannot communicate with him. Those who said who communicate with him, this talk with a forked tongue, lies. <laughs> See? Nobody Not cannot real. communicate. I know. We don't want to. That's, those are his days. And he paid his life 
to save the earth. Environmentalists save the water. No, the water is contaminated, you know? Yes. And now uh, save the air. Now the air is polluted. And the earth, now the earth has been strip mined and contaminated too. Yeah. And save the buffaloes. All walks of things he wants to. See? And now it's been contaminated even in the Lakota mine pollutions began in the mine. See? What, what is that word? Pollution? Pollution. Pollution. Uh -huh. See? Yeah. So now uh, most of us we cannot think like how my grandpa think Lakota mine. With that book knowledge it took that indigenous Lakota mine away and they put a uh, book in here. A white man wrote a book, so they put it in here. <laughs> See? And how is to think like a Lakota? How is to think like a Lakota? You don't learn the white man way. You don't speak the white man way. You don't live like the white man way. You don't eat the white man food. You don't spend the white man money. Mm. That goes for any indigenous nations. Yeah. Any indigenous people. When they value their culture, they have to do that, see? Yeah. Because those cultures were given to them from the Creator and the Four Winds and Mother Earth, see? So that's why I said we're in a turmoil. The world is in turmoil. The human race is in turmoil because the pollution that the white man brought. Yeah. See? I cannot say the black man or any other. It's the white man, technology. They're the first ones to conquer everything mm -hmm. with their Christianity. Yeah. So if you lose a language, then there goes your culture. There's no more culture. See? See? So he was fighting against that, trying to save those crazy horses. To save their people. Yeah. These people, yeah. Uh, but now, he was killed. Because they were jealous of him. The jealousy comes from the white men too. Mm. See? High rank it. Rank. The competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Lakotas, we never have that. You we have competition chance. among games, hand games and stuff like that. Dancing and stuff. But no. Uh -uh. We have mm. a. Uh, recognize our relatives and addressed our relatives how we related to them so we never call them by the names we never did we called them and addressed them how we were related <laughs> see see mm -hmm. all those valuable things yes uh, they're not here now we could just say oh Jim oh Robert oh John see? Mm -hmm. and in those days our names mean something on this Mother Earth or the natural environment. See. Today, these English names don't mean nothing. Not a thing. So how did you get the name of the person? Your grandfathers gave it to you, your grandmas gave it to you, or sometimes they have a ceremony. As you grow, the names change. How your action is, what great deed that you do. See? Oh, okay. see? That's how it goes. See? But here in the a white man world, you're stuck with one name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're stuck with one name and we don't even know what that name means, you know? <laughs> yeah, so it's like uh -huh. some... Yeah, uh -huh. so that's, that's what's happening here. So, you know, he's trying to preserve, he's trying to save all those, and uh, he was killed for that. See? Crazy Horse was killed because... Uh, the great jealousy and everything, you know. My grandfather used to call him Lekshi. Lekshi means uncle. <laughs> See? Uncle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandfather used to call him that, you know. And uh, nobody know where he's buried. Nobody knows. Mm. Up to today, you know. See? But he's not only a Washitu's white man call him a chief crazy horse and all that, but uh, he's a warrior. Yeah, he's had a gift. To protect the mm -hmm. earth and everything that is. See? Especially mm -hmm. the Black Hills, the sacred Black Hills. Heart of Mother Earth. 
see. Mm -hmm. He's trying to protect those, see. And that's what he died for. Now today we've been invaded. Yeah. <laughs> we've been invaded. And uh, I don't know how many of us uh, that record keepers are still alive. The true record keepers, the true historians, the true mm -hmm. ones. Not, not you learn something by the book, mm -hmm. or a white man write that book. But I'm afraid that my grandchildren will go that route. <laughs> will go so what? Then like? Yeah, or they're gonna go that way. Yeah, know? that way. Yeah, yeah so.